Anarchitex is finally out of beta and is completely free to play. This is a physics based sandbox environment that allows you to basically design and play it however you want to. It's set up to be a social experience with real time multiplayer, whether you are down inside the world or up above messing with it and advertises that you can create whatever you want, whether it's puzzles, a team shooter that uses zero gravity, your own board games. And the game honestly feels kind of weird like a mix of Gorilla Tag, Angry Birds and Minecraft a little bit with the creation. But with it only being out a few weeks, it's clear it's going to be a well beloved game with over 100 ratings, giving it about a 4.7 star rating already. Almost all of those are positive, 82 percent five star ratings. People saying that they love it, the building and it's so satisfying. They've made good friends in it. It's the best VR sandbox. And the only two reviews that even have anything written below five stars, basically saying they had longer load times or they had some lag, but it was still very fun. This is one game I wouldn't sleep on. I'd check it out now and see how it develops as time goes. Laser Limbo was out for a long time for location based experiences, but now it's available for everyone with the use of AR to play in their home office space wherever you want to. This basically creates an AR multiplayer laser tag arena that bases on the space around you. It can put obstacles over the furniture in your room to cover them up and has everybody trying to dodge lasers and shoot back at each other. There's a bunch of different modes, whether you're chasing down coins, playing through puzzles, bullet time shooters, and you can play solo co-op against enemies versus we got to try this out on a big scale at one of the gaming conventions we went to and it was really cool to see it in person with a bunch of people and with that it doesn't have a lot of ratings yet as it's barely been out but 13 of them almost all perfect five star ratings all the written reviews are super positive they say they love it the graphics it's finally a good mixed reality game and the lowest written review is a four star people saying that they just wish there was more boundaries so they could take it outside and do what they want with it whether you've got multiple quests or you just haven't experienced some good mixed reality this one is a cool one to check out free sports games usually are a big hit on the quest so it's surprising that slam city even though it's pretty new still has a relatively low number of ratings this is a basketball simulator you can feel it's from a small team although it does feel pretty cool between the jump mechanics the dribbling the way you can dunk and there's a lot of different game modes free play 1v1 2v2 ai it advertises stunning graphics realistic physics and intuitive controls i'd say they've got about two out of three on those you definitely want to take your time through the tutorial really feel out the game but once you get the dynamic of how to switch from dribbling to shooting it does feel pretty cool to play it. Barely anyone knows about this. Seven ratings, giving it a four and a half star. Everyone writing the reviews, giving it five stars, saying it does need some work. There is some glitchiness and bugs, but overall they love it and it's fun. It feels like it was developed by a small team, but if they continue development on it, I wouldn't be surprised to see this up there with a lot of the other huge free sports games on the quest. Dot Line is from the Secret of Retropolis series. That's a game series that's surprisingly well known and has sold really well, even though it's only on App Lab. Dot Line is a free mixed reality game that puts you in this universe has you solving cases, buying different things that you can decorate your actual home with in mixed reality. I will warn you, it is free, but it kind of feels like a free mobile game in that it's mostly just advertising and trying to get you to buy the main Retropolis games. But being a fan of the Retropolis series already, I did really enjoy checking this out, playing around in the mixed reality. The puzzles are kind of simple to start, but they do get a bit more complex as you go on. And with this just coming out this year, only over 20 people have rated it, all five star ratings so far. Everyone's saying stunning, must play mixed reality, great. It's another one if you're trying to get more mixed reality experience it. It does have some fun parts to it, but be aware you will have to wait to skip some ads for the actual games. Zenith Nexus is a newer free to play mode of a game that's been out for a while called Zenith The Last City. The Last City is still paid DLC, but Infinite Realms is the new free to play side of it. This follows the same mechanics of it, but instead of being an open world VR MMO, this is more of an online action adventure RPG. And this is probably the most controversial one on the list we'll discuss today because people really loved the Into the City side and then the Infinite Realms side has gotten more mixed reviews, but basically you're slashing mobs, you're using magic, you're racing across parkour challenges in quick session based runs instead of living out your life in the open city. But they do have daily and weekly content rotations to help keep these fresh. It's at about 4.2 rating, but most of that rating is still from when this was Zenith The Last City. But even more recent reviews still giving it five stars, 70% five stars overall. People saying it's amazing. People saying they had this game since launch and they love it. And some people even saying Infinite Realm actually gave them more room to come back and enjoy the game more because it was new but if you look down the lower reviews for what people are saying now it's not worth the time anymore it feels like they abandoned the paid dlc side of it that was the original game and they're just focusing on this free side people saying that it's not what it once was or even going as far as saying it's just unplayable now i'd love to know in the comments if you were someone who followed zenith all along how do you feel if someone walks into it brand new is nexus worth playing still did it give it extra life for you or do you feel like it completely ruined the game let me know in the comments the infinite insight is actually a demo of a game that is coming in the future Future, but I wanted to bring it up on this list because it was something that I checked out and I really enjoyed my time in it and now I just can't wait for the final game to come out.
now. This is a mixed reality puzzle game that takes you back and forth between mixed reality and virtual reality. You actually see these towers in front of you and then it feels like you go into them in virtual reality to explore and try and solve the puzzles. It does use like a snap teleportation style, although overall I found the game magical and interesting enough to look past that. But when you're in the mixed reality side, you're actually walking around your own physical space looking at the puzzle, which also felt really cool. And with that, over 75 ratings have this thing near a five star rating, about a 4.9, 84% five stars. Everybody loves it. They say it's amazing. It's a new concept. They love what they're seeing. And the very few lowest reviews are three star reviews. People saying they wish they could save their progress or it has really great potential. Although it's just a demo, this is one I recommend you definitely check out. Use it in mixed reality. Try it out. You'll probably be waiting on the final game like I am now. If you haven't tried much Thief Simulator, whether it was back in flat or now in VR, there is actually a free prologue you can check out on the quest that gives you a taste of what it's like. Thief Simulator VR prologue. It's completely free to play, but honestly, it really feels like it's just trying to get you to buy the full game package. It's very short and something. If you have 10 minutes, you could probably get through it and get a taste of what Thief Simulator is like. The lock picking mechanic actually felt cool because it felt more realistic. It wasn't super simple. It's definitely something that took a little bit to learn, but ultimately you'll get through this really fast and either wish you had more or know that you don't want to play more. And with that, nearly 20 ratings puts it about a 4.2 star. Some people saying that they played Thief Simulator and they love that this was a little extra taste of it. A lot of people saying it's just a decent fun demo. And weirdly, although it has 11% one star reviews, none of them wrote anything about it. The only review below a five star is one two star one that says getting past one of the security guards is too difficult. It's a quick and easy one if you feel like burning a few minutes here or if you just want to get a taste of Thief Simulator. There will be links to all these down in the comments and description below. When I saw that Slot Car VR had an open beta you could try for free, I thought, hey, this might give me some nostalgia playing with one of those slot car tracks that you might have had as a kid where you pull the trigger and the cars never stay on the track and go flying off. And it kind of did exactly that, but in the worst kind of way. This is a demo version, so you don't get to check out the whole free version, although there is a lot of custom tracks that you can check out. There's multiplayer modes, and they do say it is in early development. So keep in mind, this is something that if you're interested in the idea of slot cars in VR, you might try it now and watch it develop as it goes. But for now, it felt simple. It felt like it did exactly what it was supposed to do, or you couldn't just hold the trigger, otherwise the cars would fall off. You had to slow down for corners and play through it. Mostly, it's just kind of cool to see it in mixed reality. If you had someone that played these as a kid and has never tried mixed reality, this might be a cool way to introduce them to it for that. But for now, if you weren't into these, I would say it's probably not something you check out, even if it has five ratings all almost perfect. 80% five star and 20% four star. Everybody's just saying they're impressed. It's going to be an awesome MR experience. It's a great beginning. If you do take the time to check this one out, I'd love to hear what you think. You do get to color your car and pick different cars, but I don't think I was ever really big into those slot cars, so it probably just also isn't for me. Cryptic Cabinet was a really interesting idea when Meta announced that they were going to drop this MR experience. It's basically an escape room that tailors exactly to your space and mixed reality that you get to go through. Not only is there different puzzles and things that appear around your actual room, but the multiplayer feature was really what this was advertising. Although it has very mixed reviews with a 3.2 star and after getting it, I can tell you it's probably because one, mapping your room just right and getting it all to work is a bit tricky. Two, it glitched out a couple times on me or it just got really laggy when things were loading in, which can be very unsettling in mixed reality. But with that, a hard split, basically a third, five, four, and one star reviews. People saying that it was good, but it was buggy. People saying that it was terrible and it was buggy. People saying they love the idea and they want to see more of it. And some reviews just saying it was absolutely amazing. My experience with it was kind of rough. If you decide to check it out, especially if you do multiplayer and you get it to work right, let me know what you did because I do want to get this to work right in multiplayer because it seems like a really cool way to bring over friends and do kind of an escape room together, but it feels like it's a little half-baked. Mission ISS Quest was actually suggested by several of you and it's a more original free VR experience to try. Basically takes you up to the International Space Station. You learn how to move and work in zero gravity and you get to go through several different space simulators, docking the space capsule, the spacewalk. And with this having been out forever and free, it's over 1,500 people have rated it, leaving it right at about a four star rating. Different reviews, mostly five stars people saying it's amazing, it's really cool to see out in space. But people bringing up that it glitched out for them or it didn't work for them, it had a problem when they were trying to get through it. It's definitely cool to see the space part of it and it feels like there should just be more VR stuff based around space and space travel. But if that's something you're interested in, I'd say it's worth checking out. Just know that you might have some technical problems still getting through it. But overall, I'd say it was worth the download and checking out. A little bonus here at the end, because this one is really more of a tech demo than a game, but it is one of the best looking tech demos you can try out on the quest. Forest Oniri puts you in a forest that's infused with some cyberpunk elements, although the cyberpunk elements do stand out as not looking nearly as good with realistic graphics. But the forest itself and the trees look pretty great. You teleport around, but there are boxes that you are allowed to move around freely inside of. And it's just something if you really want to see kind of the future of what Quest 3 
games could look like and what the graphics can do, it is a decent example of pushing them. You get through the forest and Oniri shows you what it's actually trying to do, whether it's used for productivity apps, games, architecture, 3D e-commerce, basically the Oniri space helps people take their own 3D environments and convert it over for Wii VR or for web. It's a demo to try it out and see what it's like, but it's kind of a cool one just to check out if you want to see what it looks like in the forest. There you go, another list of new free stuff to check out on your quest, keep you busy, especially in between whether you're buying games, waiting for more sales, but there is some big sales going on at the moment too to check out. Once again, thank you for being here. We got plenty of other games lists you can check out if you're looking for more free games, but I will see you in another reality.